Friends, today we begin the second half of the book of Daniel with chapter 7. We, we have a whole series of chapters now that have to do with just these amazing visions of God that were given to Daniel. This one is, is one of the most important in the Bible, and it has to do with four beasts that Daniel sees, but something much more than that. So first what it says, that this was in the first year of Belshazzar. So you remember Nebuchadnezzar and then his son Belshazzar. Uh, well, in that first year of Belshazzar, uh, Daniel saw a dream. He had, a, had this vision and he wrote it down and he told the sum of the matter, it says. Not that he understood everything, but he he got the point. And, and in this vision, he had four great beasts coming out of the sea. So first one's a lion, second one's a bear, third one's a leopard, and then there's a fourth one that's just said to be dreadful and exceedingly strong, terrifying. You know, so there's more said about each of these beasts, but that at least gives you the picture. Now, this fourth one, we got to focus on that one. And that fourth one, it says, had great iron teeth devouring and breaking in pieces and, and stamped what was left with its feet, you know, just destroying everything in its pathway. Um, and this beast had 10 horns and then another horn, a little one. This, see, this is picked up in the book of Revelation, by the way, if you, if you recognize this imagery here. And what we see is that this horn, this little one, uh, in that horn that were eyes like the eyes of a man. Think of a person here. And this person has a mouth speaking great things. What kind of great things? Well, not morally great things. No, great as in boastful, proud, antichrist type of boasts, setting himself up to be something that he is not. So that's that's the picture. Now, now then here's what we need to see next. Very important that as Daniel looked, thrones were placed, and the Ancient of Days, that's God, took his seat. So this is the throne room of God. And it's, he's described, and then it says, a thousand thousands served him. Think of all the angelic host. And 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. So all of creation is going to be judged. The, the court sat in judgment, and the book's were open. So here is God on his judgment throne. And part of what he's going to do, he's going to judge this beast. And it says, as I looked, as Daniel looked, the beast was killed and its body destroyed and given over to be burned with fire. But then it goes on to say something quite significant. It says, I saw night visions and behold, the clouds of heaven with the clouds of heaven, there came one like a son of man. So the clouds of heaven, divine glory cloud, and here comes one on the clouds of God, who is himself the glorious son of man. Now we know who this is. This is Jesus coming again uh, on judgment day. And to him, to Jesus was given dominion and glory in a kingdom that all people's nations and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, his kingdom one that shall not be destroyed. So here's Christ in all his glory with all power and authority. Of course, we right with his resurrection, he says, all power and authority has been given unto me. But then he sends his church, go, go make disciples of all nations. But this is at the end now where the son of man returns and we have the consummation of the kingdom plans of almighty God and Christ as the son of God and son of man is at the very center of the plan of God. Isn't this exciting? Don't you want to be there on that day? Now, Daniel, though, when he saw it, he said, my spirit within me was anxious. And that's understandable. It's an overwhelming vision. So it goes on to say that you know, he was told, uh, and it was made known to him, the interpretation of things, but not entirely. And it says that, yes, you have these four kings or kingdoms that would come, but the saints of the Most High, this is the church really, shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, forever and ever, the glorious 
body of Christ is going to be there with our king and we will reign with him. And so this is this is the picture here of what what, what will happen. And even though this boastful antichrist type of figure shall speak words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and shall think to change everything that he can't really change. Yet the court of God will sit in judgment and his dominion shall be taken away, this fourth beast and this little horn, and uh, he'll, he'll be destroyed in fire, it says. But to the people of the kingdom of Christ, yet yeah, that kingdom will be an everlasting dominion and all kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him. So Daniel ends, my thoughts alarmed me. Oh Lord, it's so much to think about. Glory be to you, God. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.